It's very possible that this time next week, Modern Warfare 3's third season will be revealed officially to us. It's also possible that it may be held off until Monday the 1st, but either way, we're getting closer, and today I want to take a look at all the signs of what we know that's coming in Season 3 before we jump into anything sort of official. Today, we're taking a first look at Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 and a full comprehensive look at everything for the upcoming season. Some brand new stuff, some stuff we've touched on in prior leak videos, but a comprehensive look at everything that we've heard for the upcoming seasons. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below, drop a like if you enjoy the video or you find it at all insightful, and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 3 and more FPS coverage. But for now, let's jump into what we know about Season 3, starting with a disclaimer. First, with all leaks, we gotta start with that. I unfortunately can't show anything of the leaked content on screen, since that's leaked and until it's released, it's still technically intellectual property of Activision Sledgehammer and any studio working on the product. So a lot of the times the content isn't taken down, so I'll link it where it's possible, but just for safety's sake, I don't feature footage, images, that kind of stuff in video. And number two, these leaks are sourced over the course of the last month or so from accounts like COD Warfare Forum, Semtex Leaks, and other prominent leakers that while they all appear be happening with season three, it may not all come to be with season three. Some things can be subject to change as development is an ever moving target. So some things may be right on track, some maybe not, but this is what we have in reference currently to season three. So let's start with the multiplayer content here. The big things that I like to talk about first are the weapons, because that's of course the most functional content here, the stuff you'll be using across multiplayer, zombies, and war zones. So for the weapons, we know of the MP9 machine pistol, the ball assault rifle, and the Moore's sniper rifle. So a weapon returning from Modern Warfare 3, the original from 2011, and two weapons from Advanced Warfare coming. Now, previously, like a long time ago, it was also leaked that the ASM-1 and the EM-1, the laser weapon, would be coming in Season 3 here, and this would sort of be an all entirely Advanced Warfare themed season, which would lead to honestly a lot of cool things that could come out of that. Wouldn't have been surprised if they threw in like a jetpack LTM or something like that, which I think would be pretty cool. But so far, as it stands right now, the only things that really look to be confirmed in the game files thus far after updates over those course of a couple of months since the last mention of the EM-1 and the ASM-1. Those two are now no longer in the game files as we see them now. The MP9, Ball, and Moors all appear to be as those launch weapons in the battle pass in some capacity. Now, additionally, we've actually seen a handful of perks linked for the Season 3 offering. We have things of the high grain antenna, dauntless boots, ninja gloves, compression plate, and pistol vest. Now, breaking these down a little further, there's no real sort of indication as to what these are officially, but if I'm taking educated guesses, the high gain antenna, maybe this is like an actual high alert style perk. The LR detector has that sort of icon on it in your gear, but it only warns you of lasers, thermals, and range finders that come across as an enemy aiming in your direction and only outwards of, I think, like 100 meters so it's honestly like it's it's a very minimal version of high alert so maybe that's something that will alert you a little further in a more traditional style of high alert dauntless boots i'm thinking these are acting exactly like dauntless and vanguard making players immune to movement reduction effects and burn effects the ninja gloves maybe that's like for quiet mantles and things like that maybe there's just no audio associated with like weapon swapping at that point the compression plate it was rumored that we'd see a quick fix style perk coming to season three and with this it kind of sounds like that could be in the range of possibilities with a compression plate of some kind. I, I That just sounds like it'd be something that would tie into health because we already have things like tempered for Warzone and stuff like that. But when you think about that and the health aspect of it, that might be my guess here for that. And then the pistol vest, my best guess is that it'd be something like a mule kick level of vest where you always have a third weapon slot as a pistol, like overkill while still having a pistol, if that makes sense. Now, beyond that, the operators that we know of are Cheech and Chong, Devin Booker, and Snoop Dogg again. And looking at that list, well, we've got to have some sort of 420 event upcoming, right? Like, let's be honest here. That's too many stoner references to not have one in a season that launches right before April 20th, right? But then on top of that, we already know of season three operators with the code names of Lambda and Kappa. Those ones likely not going to be their actual in-game names, but that's just what they're designated as in the game files. There is a ton of aftermarket parts listed, so to spare you all the listing of every single one, the only thing that sticks out that's pretty cool here, at least I think, outside of just a list of aftermarket parts coming, are Modern Warfare 2 aftermarket parts. It's already seen that we have aftermarket parts listed for the M4, M16, KV Broadside, and 
the Lockwood Mark II. That one in particular, it seems like it's bringing back the Model 1887s as a part of that aftermarket part. So honestly, in the sort of idea and concept of including Modern Warfare 2 weapons, I think it's cool to see these expand outwards into Modern Warfare 2 weapons as well, giving a full complement of weapon support, not just their own titles weaponry. So I think that's cool to see. Might not be the opinion of everybody, but that's where I stand with it. We also have a couple of things of equipment of the utility box, squad rage and tracker mine, which don't have any idea what those would be, but those were listed as season three items could also be something that is a zombies thing, a war zone thing. There's not really a whole ton associated with it, but those were listed in there. And finally, before we jump over to war zone and zombies, multiplayer maps, surprisingly, nothing has leaked out from what I've seen about multiplayer maps coming in season three. The last officially confirmed statement only included season one and two for guaranteeing three new maps, but it's said that there's going to be a total of 12 plus throughout the entire year of content support. So with six already down here, we could see two for season three. We could see maybe another three and going beyond what we may expect to see with those 12 total. We might see two and maybe two remasters. But right now, it's just unclear of what's coming at the moment, which is interesting. I feel like maps are usually pretty big in the grand scheme of things and are found relatively quickly. Now, jumping over to the Warzone side of things, because I think that's where the next biggest part of the discussion comes from. Zombies, unfortunately, again, not a whole ton of content. And as we'll talk about in a second, all coming at mid-season again. So nothing at launch, it seems like, at least. But for Warzone, the first and only confirmed thing we know about for Season 3 is a free blueprint for what appears to be the MCW as a part of the Anniversary Weapon Skin free reward for Warzone's fourth anniversary. But that was right after the Season 2 Reloaded update went out, so it was confirmed that we would see something given to players at the next title update, which will be, again, Season 3. So that'll be something that comes alongside that. But also in Season 3, it seems like Rebirth Island is going to be coming. Of course, this now back in the sort of limelight because of Warzone Mobile, but for those that don't want to play on their phones or iPads or trying to jerry-rig something in regards to a controller to a mobile device, well, you might actually have the ability to play Rebirth Island here not too far off in the future. Now, from the images that have leaked out here, it seems like there is some adjustments to the map. The lighting is still bright, definitely nice and aesthetic. Some color and fresh paints on buildings, a little bit different there, but there's also some sort of smaller additions as well. Those Coney sort of container buildings, those are seen around the map as well. One of those in particular being between Harbor and Chemical Engineering, where those two points of interest were. So from the images leaked, it seems like there's some minor adjustments here, but we also don't don't know if the entire reinforced sector of that map will be there at launch because nothing has really leaked out from that perspective to look down and I think that was the like southwest portion of the map with Rebirth Island I never remember which way on the TAC map it's oriented in regards to what area of the map is in what grid sector and stuff but personally I'd be all for it if that did come back I actually enjoyed that entire stronghold area I thought it added a bit more to the map in regards to replayability and also just more space for action other content specialists bonus was teased with Rebirth Island a couple of months ago, where that was seen as that perk package atop the tower in Rebirth Island, but game files indicate that it seems like this is going to be dropping in Season 3 Reloaded, so a mid-season entry here with this one, but it sounds like initially it's planned to launch only in Rebirth Island at Season 3 Reloaded, but then maybe Season 4, maybe Season 4 Reloaded, then it's going to come to other maps as well. Urzikstan, Fortune's Keep, Vondal, Ashika Island, all that. There's also mention of new loot items of the biometric scan loot cards for maybe bunkers around Rebirth Island. It's weird though, because like they have them listed from bronze, silver, gold, platinum, polyatomic, and Orion. And there's an additional access card mentioned as well. So it seems like, I mean, it's kind of playing back into what we knew about with the bunkers and the access cards back in Verdansk and elsewhere, but nothing more beyond that has been found. But one thing that was not mentioned, but I'm still personally hoping and maybe banking on is Warzone ranked for the big map. We saw season two introduce Resurgence ranked. That was something that people were really keen on for like the first week. And then I feel like I haven't heard anybody talk about it since. But we talked about how further seasons get a little iffy on timing with marquee items. Like seasons four to five will probably be focused on marketing for COD 2024. If there's a Warzone event, that's gonna be one of the things that's marketed. Season six is likely going to be another haunting event. Plus it's gonna be a shortened window because the game will be launching probably halfway through a season six, like we saw with Modern Warfare 3. And if there's going to be an October launch here, then that definitely to me says we're gonna have a shortened support window in season six because you're just having that crossover period leading up to season one. So no other season 
reasons really make a whole ton of sense for me for this to be worthwhile. Like if you introduce ranked later, you get less than half a year of support and playtime available because chances are it's going to go away again with the COD 2024 integration at season one, just like we had this year when it disappeared after the introduction of Urzikstan. So that's one thing that I would imagine maybe comes with season three reloaded, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, Zombies content to round out the Season 3 offering. There's a little bit of stuff we know about. Again, it's not a whole ton that's really super noteworthy or anything that really gets you excited if you're a Zombies player, which is unfortunate because honestly, I think that like the initial reception of Modern Warfare Zombies was actually a lot better. People thought this was going to be a terribly boring, a terrible mode, whatever. But I feel like the general majority that I've seen at least has kind of changed that sentiment in how they feel about it. Like it was actually not a bad mode. It just hasn't had any support. And unfortunately, it seems like that's kind of the same way with everything seemingly in the game files pointing towards Season 3 Reloaded. But we have new Warlord items and schematics where the chemist is going to be able to drop a more powerful gas mask. So durable gas mask times two, I guess, maybe the Rainmaker. There's going to be a vest of some sort that offers protection. And then there's going to be a Warlord disguise item, which is, in my opinion, likely just the version of the disguise you'd see in DMZ that will allow you to blend in among the AI enemies at Warlord Strongholds. There's also new Rift items that have been mentioned. PvP was mentioned, which is interesting as well. That's been rumored for a long time, but there's actually mentions of it in the game files. So we'll see if that gets turned on at all or what happens, but I mean, that'd be interesting. Based off prior leaks, we also might see a new act introduced, an act five with season three, but we'll have to wait and see how that all works out. That's based on just the assumption that it seems like in the game files, everything leads up to an act six. So with four seasons left, season three, four, five, and six, you have an act five at season three, season four introduces act five as an expansion and the continuation of it, act six introduced at season five, and then the finale leading into Black Ops Golf War and whatever they want to do with zombies and that in season six as the finale there. But anyways, that's everything that we've seen so far about season three for multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think here of the Season 3 offering? Anything that you're hoping to see that we didn't quite cover? Anything that you're excited to hear about out of what's been leaked so far? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing ring all things Modern Warfare 3, Season 3, as we gear up for the launch year of that and all the content to follow, but also a ton of other FPS content as well. I'd love to have you in the community. For now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.